welcome back to my channel. I'm back at it again, second video of today. And I wanted to just do a talking video, a personal video. I feel like these are just very well perceived and help people the most and I've just been feeling so much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I might have said this before but I feel like all of life is healing. We're all healing from something and I feel like we always will be trying to just love ourselves a little bit more and be a little happier, find some more peace within ourselves, and so just fucking feel. <laughs> Let's just start off this video. The theme of this video is just feel what you need to feel, girl. Take all of that feeling and emotion and make something out of it. And I guess that's what I do when I write. Take all the ugly shit inside and try to make it beautiful. I wanted to read my journal to you guys because I think we should all just be open about things that have happened to us, about our mental illnesses, and just help this world feel less scary and help each other feel more understood and less alone. And that's really what I want to do because we've all been through some shit. Um, everyone's healing from something and I guess I just wanted to share. I'm such an open book and I feel like if it can help one person feel less alone or feel happier or just feel more okay about their situation, why not put myself out there because I honestly don't mind at all. And I want to encourage you guys to write because writing has been something that has helped me and all my friends so much. And it's like having a therapist and just taking all of your constant thought that you have inside, putting it on a piece of paper and being able to read it and even create something beautiful out of it. Um, so yeah, I always entitle my journal entries with Dear Universe. So I guess I'll just like read the important one. Dear Universe. Does your soul ever feel like a song? The way things come into my life, whether they be chaotic or beautiful or melancholy, I feel the energy transfer, the energy it brings to me and the energy I let out as a result. A constant flow back and forth. To me, it's like an indie song. All mellow, all awareness going back and forth between singers with the message that this is what life is composed of. Simple transfers of energy. I can picture myself floating down a river that never ends, with trees on either side and a perpetual sunset, my favorite time of day, when the sun is just barely illuminating the horizon and the sky is composed of different gradients of blue, and only a few stars have begun twinkling. The outlines of leaves and branches contrast greatly with the sky, connecting them to become one big, mysterious jungle. It's my favorite because I can remember all the times I've peered up and seen that exact setting. That time of day is a black hole, connecting me to all the other times I've stared in wonder or fear or hope, trying to find some solace in the changing sky. That's how I see most of my life, like a movie, a very cinematic one at that. I feel this overwhelming sense of motion, I feel so in tune with the energy all around me, it's wild, but it's also very calming, how vibrant everything truly is. I can see everything from the third person. My whole youth, I wanted to escape my reality. I'll never forget running to the bathroom after being thrown to the ground. My skull bounced off the floor and back down again. I was finally able to run away, or maybe I had felt it pointless to try previously, but nevertheless, I ran and locked the door and cried the hardest I ever have in my life. This is where my habit of crying behind closed doors began. My seven-year-old self stared in the mirror out of breath with red, wet cheeks and asked, Why? Why me? Why is this my life? Why, God? Why? Over and over and over again. It felt unfair. Why is this my fate? Why? I see my body falling in slow motion, and it was like when I fell and my head got acquainted with the ground, not only did pain run through me, but depression penetrated throughout me, cracking me open to feel empty and worthless in the space created. I can see a montage of abuse, of sitting on my wood floor staring in terror and defeat, at my door slowly being kicked down, chips of wood flying out, splinters cracking apart giving secret to the fury that was awaiting me on the other side. I did not yet know that this would become a reoccurring theme in my life. Someone entering who is not welcome, someone forcing themselves inside. I knew it would come, but there was nothing I could do, and I knew that too. Even in the emptiness, when I asked myself that night in the mirror, I heard a response, this is all happening for a reason. 
I heard it come into my head, and in sixth grade, after a 36 foot drop from my window and no permanent damage, months after recovering, I felt the same voice, the same awareness coming over me, that someday this would all make sense. Now, with the help of my therapist, I realize that my constant nightmares of running, of escaping, of being chased, is a reflection of me, my younger self, wanting to run away, wanting to escape the chaos, escape the emptiness, escape the pain. And so when I feel alone or lost or poor, it triggers me to my youth. It connects me to this whole world of darkness I thought was normal. I'm only recently discovering it wasn't. I'm only recently realizing I was a victim. And it scares me to say it, it feels uncomfortable, but I feel I have to address my situation as such. I'm realizing that I didn't need to escape, I just needed love. More love, love bursting at the seams, copious love. I needed love to fill every corner of my house. I needed love even when my parents weren't there to show it. I needed love for myself. I just needed love. Love is the only thing that has truly begun to set me free. And suddenly I am here in the present moment. Love is all around me. I did it. I created it. Now I'm no longer running, but facing my past, breaking it down so it can no longer be powerful and haunting. I remember that night crying in the bathroom, staring into my mirror, and I remember the words that seemed to drop into my heart. This is all happening for a reason. I began to connect the dots. I began to realize that there was a reason that I had to continue being on this earth. And I made it my mission to find that. One of the greatest lessons that my past has taught me is how to create a home within myself. How to fill my life and everything in it with love and magic and imagination. I'm so grateful to have such a strong one. And the greatest reason for that is because I relied on it so much growing up. Now my mind is a wondrous place to experience. And that's the end of that one. <laughs> I did not end it with a bang. I just kind of... The story isn't over. I'm still healing. I'm still breaking down walls. I'm still facing stuff um, all the time. And I guess that's why I've been making more real videos and um, referencing my sadness more because that's kind of what I'm healing from right now. And I don't ever want to fake happiness. I just think that's really dumb. I think that that would be... that would really hurt myself if I was just pretending to be happy and I just want to be real with you guys and yeah man like I'm very happy a lot and I think that maybe the chaos that I grew up with forced me to <laughs> find the peace and and that's just what happened, you know? And when I was younger, I did really want to escape. I would always write stories of a girl who could create other worlds, could create portals, and just walk through them and have the best time of her life and then come back whenever she wanted. I always wished that I could control time and pause moments and fast forward them so that I wouldn't have to experience them. And I kind of forgot about it over the years. I forgot about a lot that happened and started feeling like random bits of sadness and nightmares all the time. I always have nightmares about running away, <laughs> running upstairs to places that lead nowhere, um, running away from murderers, and that's because I was chased with a knife when I was younger, but I have all of these crazy dreams. So yeah, it's just fucking bizarre. Growing... It's just crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Because I feel like I just poured my heart out, but love is just so powerful, and growing up can be very lonely. And I think that everyone thinks that, like, growing up and your childhood is, like, some fun, crazy, like, beautiful, free experience, but it's so hard to grow up, <laughs> to be learning all these things and being so sensitive and to be unknowing of so much, you know? I feel like... <laughs> holy fuck, how did I survive all that growth and change and there are just so many different levels of growth that we have to go through. Our entire lives are composed of healing. But yeah, so I guess I'm just exploring myself, creating myself, learning more about myself and 
I don't even know what's gonna happen once I feel like I've spoken about what happened to me enough. I guess let me read a happier one. Um, Cause not every, most of the the entries in here are very happy. Melancholy dreams of flowers caressing my skin, tenderly brushing against my hands and legs, an endless field of succulents and tall grass, this is my place of worship. The tall grass is my altar, the sun is my god, I tell my secrets to the flowers and make love to the earth with my bare feet. Loving the earth is loving yourself. Then I wrote a little riddle. <laughs> If you grew up in a home with no TV, then you grew up just like me. That's the beginning of a poem, but I didn't quite finish it. Oh my god, maybe we can write a group poem down below. I'm going to start a um, group poem. I'm going to write one line, and then we can all add to it. That would be fucking dope. <laughs> it's a weird thing when you are dealing with sadness because of your past in the present moment even though the present moment is fine it's such a weird fucking thing like i'm so happy i'm so chill and there's so much love in my life i put so much love out there i feel like <sighs> i'm really at a place where i'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm able to like shut down that negative self-talk and just be like, nah, no matter what, you're lovely, <laughs> you know? Something just as simple as that, I'm just like, nope, you're lovely. Like any negative thought that comes into my head, I'm like, nope, you's a lovely bitch. And it's awesome. But then it's just like, I'll also get plagued with sadness and I'm like, ugh. This is coming from nowhere, but it's coming from past trauma, I suppose. And I will always be open about this. I don't even know if I'm going to edit this video, but I will always be open about as much as I can be, you know, like if I feel comfortable talking about it, but like right now, like I'm not at the point where I can fully talk about abuse because a lot of people were involved and I don't want anyone to feel guilty. But yeah, if it helps someone, then I'm glad. And... I think that writing is just so fucking powerful. I haven't written very many poems recently, but I do love to write poetry, and I will be releasing an ebook with all my poetry by the end of the year, and I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna print, I'm gonna say like 200 actual copies, and that's just like a limited number, and then everything else will be available online in an ebook. But I personally love actual, tangible, physical books, so I can underline, make notes, fold over pages, just having an actual poetry book. Okay, I'll finish off this video by reading a positive journal entry. Dear Universe, creativity is a doorway to love and self-exploration. The times we have spent creating have been times of transformation, spirituality, self-understanding, and self-acceptance. Also realizations in trusting the universe. The fact that this pen to this paper has been so freeing, as well as a paintbrush to a canvas, or my eyes, heart, and soul to major works of art, restores me, restores my faith, because witnessing that beauty reminds me of the blessing it is to feel, to be silent, to understand. I have energy in my solar plexus, vibrant energy, waiting to be unleashed. It is excitement. The path seems so clear now. Every day is a new day to be the person you want to, the person you would be proud of. Above all things spoken, I love you, and by loving you, I love myself for who, for who, for who and what I am. Magic is happening all around me, and my heart is open to the omens. Thank you for all the gifts and the hardships. I am getting closer and deeper into my spirit every day. I think it's very appropriate to entitle my journal entries Dear Universe, because I am the universe, man universal energy manifested in human form, right? I am made up of the universe, therefore I'm the universe exploring itself. And so when I write, I'm like talking to myself, I'm talking to the cosmos, just all my energy is going out there into the universe, and so, dear universe, am I right ladies and gents? Get a journal, write, just write and feel, feel everything that you need to feel. I am just so grateful for all the blessings in my life, and I cry a lot because I'm so happy, and I feel so fortunate and almost not worthy. Sometimes I'm just like, holy fuck. I feel safe now, you know, like, holy fuck, I can't believe that I just feel safe and I have people that I can talk to and I, 
created a safe space for me and I have my own sanctuary again and I have safety and a home within myself I just feel like I'm so lucky like I'm not gonna cry but I'll walk to the subway and some mornings I'm just looking at the sky and I tune in to all the sounds of the earth which is a great meditation um I know uh, I used to do a lot of guided meditations but now I've been doing silent meditations or I'm um, meditating off the sounds of New York, which sounds insane, but I have a fire escape and sometimes I'll just sit out there and get high off the sound of life happening. And when I'm walking to the subway in the morning, I just look at all these people living their lives and the subway taking everyone from place to place and the sun shining and I can feel like the full experience of life. I feel the sun on my face and the wind going through my ears, I feel my hair kind of brushing against my ears as the wind blows through it. And I just hear all these noises. They're at one point just one big blur of noise, but at the same time I can tune in on different parts of the noise, different parts of conversation and strollers and tires on cars. But it's really nice to like meditate on that but anyways, I look at all these people and I just feel like I have so much love for them. But I will um, be just smiling, the most radiant smile. And this one morning, this girl was smiling just as radiant of a smile as me. Just like, by radiant I mean just coming from a true, genuine place of happiness. And she was smiling, and we were both smiling at each other, and it was like, Hey man, like you get it? Because I get it too. Like the sun is shining, let's be happy today. And it was just so great. And... <laughs> I just sometimes want to shake people and be like, hey, look, like, shh, like, calm those thoughts in your head, just, just tune in onto this moment, onto this vibration that's happening right now, this moment is all that you have, this is what life is composed of right now, and the sun is shining, and you have two feet, and you have your health, just like, shh, just see it, just witness it, and just be okay right now, and I just want to... I wish that I could say that without speaking, you know, I wish I could just hold someone and grab them and just look into their eyes and make them understand that, make their eyes open and realize that, like, we're not in, all in competition, this isn't some race that, like, it's okay, like, this is the moment right now. And it's, like, almost a secret. When I learned about the Law of Attraction, I was like, damn, I'm quite powerful. I know this and not everyone knows how much their energy affects their lives. And I was like, I'm like a witch. <laughs> I have so much power. Um, and control over everything. Life is composed of transfers of energy. Something happens to me, that may be negative, positive, whatever, crazy, and then I'm gonna react as a result. So how am I gonna react? That's my choice, you know? And that's just what life is made out of. Simple transfers of energy. Constantly. Constantly happening. All the time. Crazy! I sound like a fucking hippie. Uh, and by the way, thank you so much for 50k. What the fuck? Like, what the shit, this is awesome. I'm so excited. 50k, it kind of, I was so excited. I was like, wow, now what? Now 100k? Like, then I was like, damn, this is just gonna keep growing. I didn't expect it to go past 50k, and now I'm at like 52k. And I was like, oh my god. Like, it doesn't end here. There's so much more that's gonna happen and be created. I was like, speechless. So I'm really excited. <laughs> like, Wow, there's more than 50,000 people watching me. But I just wanted to make this video to create more safe space for us all to discuss life and growing up and pain and happiness. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!